Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, or should I say, this is Keith Cooks, Keith Floyd. Yes indeed, I'm doing another one from this marvellous book, or actually the marvellous TV series. So, um, did one last week, Liver Dumplings from Alsace, which actually went down surprisingly well. So I'm going to do something from the Basque Country, which you may know is down in the sort of southwest corner of France, and the Basque Country actually spills over into Spain as well. But they do have their own unique cuisine with some unique dishes, one of which is piperad. And that's what I'm going to make today. So before we start, I want to do some shout outs. I had some really amazing, wonderful and quite touching uh, comments on, on the last one from Dave Coleman. And John Kitchen. Amazing comments, I was really blown away by them, so thank you very much. And Piperard, it's another of those traditional recipes where everybody's grandma does it best. And in fact, I'll show you a bit of a clip from the Floyd episode, Floyd and France, episode five, where they've shot this scene in the kitchen of Madame Mimi in Biarritz, who is, um, let's just say, she's a little forthright in her views. Pas comme ça qu'on fait une pipérade, hein Ma petite main présentée pour mes... Oh oui, c'est ravissant devant la télévision, mais une chose c'est être ravissant devant la télévision, une autre chose c'est ravissant quand on a dans la bouche. OK, understand that, so I'm really handsome. Ça, c'est tout à fait... <rire> mmh, je doute. Je vais essayer de goûter, mais... Vu la façon so comment tu l'as no fait, j'ai pas très envie de goûter. She has no real interest in eating it, because the way I cooked it was so off-putting that she knows already it's going to taste absolutely awful. C'est pas mauvais. In brief, it's absolute rubbish. That is not a pipperade. That is a pipperade. So that was Floyd getting told off and taking it like a pro, good grief. So Mimi's version, I, I didn't think it looked great. I'm looking around for like authentic recipes for Piperard. I don't think I found any. There's such a lot of variation that there are people that put tomatoes in it, people that don't, people that put eggs in it, people don't, or, you know, some people bake whole eggs like in shakshuka. Uh, which I don't think is right, really. But anyway, it's a dead simple dish, so let's have a go at making piperad. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get on with it. Okay, ingredients for the piperad. Peppers, obviously. I think traditionally they pay back. Just green ones, but I've got red ones and orange ones. You know, because you buy a pack of three and you always get this useless orange one that nobody wants. So I'm using it. One medium onion and a handful, a small handful of parsley, a couple of garlic cloves, and uh, some thyme. I, I don't have fresh thyme. Four tomatoes, some evu, extra virgin olive oil, and salt and pepper to taste. Also, possibly optionally, eggs and some bacon. Uh, okay, what should we do now? Oh, have a slight slurp, because we're being Keith Floyd. Oh, and one other thing which I forgot, one teaspoon of sugar, uh, which according to Floyd is the secret ingredient told to him by Mimi in Biarritz. Right, because I'm being kind of authentic and not using tomatoes out of a can, I need to peel these or skin them and then chop them into dice. So the way I do it is cut across in the skin and you need to blanch them in boiling water for about a minute. Okay, and then the skin basically starts to fall off. So I'll just let those cool down a little bit and then I can just pull the skin off completely and chop them up. Okay, they're, they're cool enough to handle. All right, so we'll just put those in a bowl till we need them. I absolutely cannot believe what I've just done. I just had a slight slurp. I've done that. I've had this shirt about a week. Mrs. Keith Cooks will kill me if I can't get that out. Hey ho! <laughs> Time for an apron. Okay, now in Floyd land, things like chopping. He can do chopping very much faster than I can. And you know, I don't bother me at all. It's like, I'm very old and uh, 
I get the job done eventually and I still have all my fingers. Floyd still has all his fingers, but yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, so uh, here we go. And of course, the onion. Okay, now we're ready to start cooking and I love this bit. In the recipe in the book, he says, in your favorite pan, heat some oil and butter. So this is my favorite pan. Other favorite pans might be completely the wrong thing, but as it happens, this works for me. It doesn't explain why you use oil and butter or even what kind of oil, but you know. I'm just guessing because it's France Evo, even though it's not always great for cooking and uh, unsalted butter so the butter is to do with smoke points and um, if you use butter on its own when it gets too hot it well it burns basically and it's not good but oil uh, stops that from happening because it increases the smoke point kind of thing so off we go So I'll throw a bit of onion in and when it's sizzling a bit, put the rest of it in. It doesn't want to be too hot, just give it about five minutes. You just want it to soften, go a bit translucent, but not brown. Uh, while that's happening, crush, mince some garlic, a couple of cloves, and throw those in for a couple of minutes. And then hoi the strips of pepper in. And just let those cook for, what, five, 10 minutes. Then you can add the tomatoes, the chopped parsley, the thyme, salt and pepper to taste. And I love this about Floyd series as well. He tastes things with his finger, his, fin his actual finger, always the same finger, and he doesn't wash it. It's disgusting, it's a wonder he's not dead. Oh, he is. Um, but you know, he <laughs> lasted quite a while. Now in classic Floyd style, I've forgotten to tell you about something. Um, and it is actually what young people these days would call the hero ingredient. It's Piment d'Espelette, um, which is a locally grown, quite mild chili pepper that, you know, you really can't get that in England. So paprika is suggested as a close substitute, but also cayenne pepper as, as a better one. And it just so happens that in my drawer for at least the last 10 years, I've had these, <laughs> these little dried cayenne peppers. And um, I think that'd be fine. And I think I'll only use maybe one or two. Because as you know, I don't like stuff to be too hot, but this dish is meant to have a little, a little pop of spiciness. So the peppers are, well, not exactly mush, but they are very well cooked. So I will now add, the rest of the stuff. Little taste, are we kidding? Oh, oh god, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, that is sweet because of the sugar. And I think she put the sugar in to counteract any bitterness from the tomatoes, which isn't necessarily what I would have done. I would have used bicarbonate of soda. But hey. Um, so salt and black pepper. Now we need to beat the eggs together and cook that bacon and then we're done, I reckon. Okay, so as my eggs, I'll just and whack them in the pan. I think lay peppers and that will cook in a couple of minutes and just keep stirring it a little bit every now and again. Right, taste test time. This um, really it shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes. It'll take me about three hours, but you know, I was making a video. And um, yeah, so here we go. Pippa hard. That is very nice, very nice. I did fish out my two little pimentos. They had imparted plenty of hotness for the likes of me. 
But, you know, if you like more, leave them in. Leave you a small. I don't know if the um, tomato should have been a bit more sort of runny and saucy. And I think one day I might have to go to the bottom left corner of France and find out. So, yeah. Peep it out. Nice. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. Or wrong. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and see you next time.